All right, guys, so we got this open, that oil separator. Um, that's the um, lid, that's the lid from it. It's not broken anything, so we're gonna just keep it. I'm sure we're gonna clean this. And that doesn't look so bad. I think this is just regular build up. Uh, I'm planning to remove this whole box and to clean it. It's easy, you just have two connections, one here, one here. To remove this, you have to push up and down together and pull it out. And then you can have to hear the click. And has those four screws, eight millimeters. So next step is gonna be to remove that. But so far, that's how it looks like. All right, so now we're gonna remove this. Having those two pipes out and having all the bolts loose, there are four, plus uh, you have to unplug this, uh, one of these power plugs, which is easy too. And uh, so we're gonna see, oh, this one is, all right, ooh. Okay, so let's see for the first time what we got here. So like you can see there is a small tiny leak around but it's just uh, maybe it wasn't tight. That's how it looks like. So now we're gonna add one side super nice and clean. I did the best I can with uh, just some towel. And we got one more side to go. And it's not just the oil, it's just <clears throat> kind of that dirt. And it's dry out oil. Maybe it's easier to replace it, this whole part. If somebody is looking, that's the part number. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do some good cleanup and just clean up the, the gaskets and remove them and put everything back. <clears throat> and we already did clean the top, but I still gonna remove that anyway. Okay, finally we, we got this. <laughs> it is a pain in the butt to open this. But when you open, be gentle because there is a spring inside. So okay, here is it. So I already did clean all of that <clears throat> this morning. So that's been clean. That's the same. That's already clean. So we're gonna leave this here. But I wanna clean all that stuff inside. And for this purpose, I'm gonna try to use that degreaser. So, honestly, this part is not expensive, but I decided to clean it with the water. There is no electric sensors, nothing like that. It's nothing complicated. So, here we are. So, I use the toothbrush and went all the way submerge this piece of plastic and clean it really good. Nicely cleaned. Uh, that you can remove that without any problems. And you can use some soapy water and be gentle with it. And just to wash the old oil. And once that's gonna dry out, we're gonna that just so why it's important to clean this? I believe uh, if you don't clean it or or never replace this, uh, that return lines from the oils, one side and other side, and that oil goes here, and it's uh, drying oil, so it's got all the dirt and everything, and everything else going down the uh, down the engine, then you can end up with something like that. But that was expecting that it's uh, engine damage, but this is came from my filter, and that's how it looks like. 
but it happened that that's the same dirt that was collected in that uh, oil separator and around the around those two holes uh, going um, on the valve cover so that's how it looks like so in my opinion it's really worth to take another uh, hour or two to replace that or okay so after uh, two days of driving I don't see any leaks so everything looks clean so honestly it was pretty easy job it took me maybe in a an hour to do it and so if you like this video please uh, subscribe or like it um, I'm gonna try to make it some more videos all right thanks for watching and make sure you enjoy working on your cars